Greetings fellow retro gamers and welcome to a quick tutorial video on how to get DOSBox, a DOS game, and make it work. Alright, let's start off by going to the DOSBox website. I'll put all the links in the description below. I'm going to go to the download section and pick the latest version which is 0 0.74. Let's get the Windows installer. Five seconds will pass, you'll see some ads. Boom, you'll get your installer. Boom, you'll want to run that. Install it on anywhere you want on your hard drive. And then you're going to want to get yourself the icon or run it directly from your tap start menu, whichever way you want. So let's see if this works. Confirm the first step work and boom, we can see the Z drive. Congratulations. Now let's move on to the next step, getting a DOS game. So if you all subscribe to me on YouTube or follow me on Twitter, you'll probably see me posting a bunch of GIFs, video clips and gameplay videos of DOS games. So. All of them, by the way, all my DOS gameplay videos have download links in them. So let's take here Conquest of the Longbow. And we're going to want to go look at the video description where, look at that, there's a download link. Let's click on that. It's going to bring us to my Abandonware website where the download button for Conquests of the Longbow, The Legend of Robin Hood is. Click on the yellow button. It's going to bring you to a page that will list if there's different versions. In this case, there's an Amiga and a DOS version. We're going to take the DOS version. Boom. Once you've had the game downloaded, let's go wait for it here in the download folder. It's coming. Now we're going to want to put this in a folder so we can, uh, oops, so we can uh, run it. So let's take our archive file and let's go in the C drive. For the example of this video, we'll use the C drive, but you can use another drive. Let's call it DOS games. Ideally, you want to keep your folder names at eight characters or less because that's how many characters DOS used to support. You can still use more, but it puts a little squiggly and a number and it's kind of annoying to type. So let's keep it to eight characters, shall we? So as you can see, the installation folder <laughs> of uh, Conquest of the Longbow is hideously long. Let's rename it to Longbow. All right, we're almost ready to go. Let's go launch DOSBox. And now the last step is to enter the mount command. So we're going to tell DOSBox to use this beautiful folder we just created with Longbow in it and say that it's a hard drive. So mount C, so the C drive for DOSBox, and then the folder where you have your DOS games. In this case, C backslash DOS games. All right. Tells us the drive C is mounted as local directory C backslash DOS games. Now we're going to C, and boom, look at that. Longbow folder is in there. As you can see, by the way, the name of Conquest of the Longbow archive file is cut off and there's a squiggly bracket, a squiggly, not a squiggly bracket, there's a squiggly thing with a number annoying to type, so that's why I keep it to eight characters. And now let's see if it works. I think this game uses a weird, I think it's, it's a bat file, yeah, Robin 3. And what does the survey say? Oh, victory! Congratulations, you've downloaded the DOS box and you're making it work with a game. So, in less, in about three minutes, congratulations. So there you have it. There's other ways to make more complex configurations, but this will do for now. I might do another video to go out in more detailed settings because some games will use different types of memory or if you're fed up of typing mount C drive, you can actually put that uh, command in the auto exec set section of the config file for DOSBox. But this will do for now. Thank you very much for watching. You have all been amazing. Don't forget to subscribe, rate or comment.